Hey guys, Justin Bryant here, and I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to better manage your Pinterest followers. If you're trying to build your uh, following on Pinterest and uh, get you some more traffic or just build your brand, one of the, you probably know that one of the best ways to do that on social media, if you're on a low budget, is to follow people that follow other influencers in your niche and these people are your best targeted followers they will probably be interested in your stuff if they're interested in other competitors stuff the problem with this is when you follow people only about 15 or 20 percent of them will follow you back so over time if you're following people to help build your audience after a while you have a lot more people that you're following than people that are um, actually following you back. So on Pinterest, I'm going to show you a better way to organize this, at least until a decent app or decent software is created to do all this automatically, like they have for Twitter and uh, Google Plus and Pinterest, or not Pinterest, but Instagram. Uh, you know, Instagram and Twitter have actual apps and things like that, and software like Tweepy for instance, or uh, Circuloscope for Google Plus, and it manages the followers and things like that for you. So you know um, who to keep following and who to unfollow and things like that. But they don't have anything like that for Pinterest that actually works consistently. So there is a thing called Voodoo Pinner. If you're going to ask me about that, um, I have tried that already, and it, although it kind of worked in the past, it hasn't been working lately, so I'm not so sure I recommend that. And there are a few, there is some kind of a followers light app or something like that in the Apple Store, but it doesn't work anymore either. And from what the reviews said, it used to work, but now it doesn't. So there's really nothing that um, automatically helps you manage your followers on Pinterest on the market right now and I'd love to create something like that but I just don't have the coding experience or the time to do it right now so if you want to do that I'd love for you to do it <laughs> but until then we're gonna have to use Excel or Google Docs to do it that way alright so I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick and you'll be able to manage your followers know who you've unfollowed so you don't uh, mess with them in the future and uh, be more efficient and get this number these two numbers right here more even so it doesn't look like you're just uh, following a bunch of people and that's all you're doing because the big brands although this helps you don't want to look like that's all you do to get followers you want to make it look like you know people are following you because they want to and until you get good at creating content people want to see which I have been starting to get from Pinterest now as kind of an early Pinterest user um, you're gonna have to probably resort to the following people and all that so the best way to really organize this first of all you want to create a uh, Excel sheet or spreadsheet um, in Google Docs either way and just call it Pinterest followers or whatever and I'm going to show you how to organize this so you know who is who and um, how to manage it so then once you've done that go ahead and um, here's what you want to do you want to highlight all of these people that you are following okay and, after, and since I've already done this, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go through all of this again because it would just. It would. It, I don't want to waste your time and make this a really long video. So what, you highlight all these people, then you right click after you've been through all these um, people that are following you. Then you click copy. Okay. After you've done that, go to your spreadsheet and click paste. Put that in the A column, and then I put you don't want to put the title of the column on any of the, in number one through whatever 
because you're going to be uh, messing with that here in a minute. So what I did, I just put it in the B column and called it followers, all right? And if you want to put a little arrow pointing to the left, that's fine too, but just make sure you know which column is which. So left column for me is followers for Pinterest. My right column is going to be the people I'm following. So now that you've done the first column, go to the people you're following and you're going to do the same thing. You go to pinners and you want to... No, I don't want to do that. Then you want to just highlight them all, go all the way down the line and copy then paste them in another column preferably not the one right next to it so that's why I put it on column C so you paste it in here and then it'll have all these people um, right there All right. what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and show you I'll go ahead and show you the followers list since it's actually a lot shorter than the people I'm following so I'll go ahead and highlight all this and uh, I'll show you how to sort it as quickly as possible. So, you know, basically what we're going to do is have three columns. The first column is going to be the people that are following you. The second column is going to be the uh, the people that are or just the people that you are following and I guess this is done scrolling I'm not really sure okay I guess that's about it so you copy that and then um, go through and delete these real quick so you go in column A and then you paste that okay so this is what it's going to look like in each column so your followers column should look like this and your following column should look similar to this too okay so now you have a problem though because you have all these numbers and words that you don't need all you need is the names of people alright so you're gonna go to um, edit make sure the column is highlighted go to find and replace and all you have to do is start typing in all the digits and replacing them with nothing okay so don't put anything in the replace with space so pray, replace all. So see how that got rid of the ones? Okay, do it again. Do it for two. See how it got rid of the twos? Watch the left column as I do this. It gets rid of the threes. It gets rid of the fours. And you do this for all the digits, okay? Get rid of seven. Get rid of eight. I guess six didn't work, right? Get rid of six. Nine and zero. So there now. Now I got rid of all the numbers in the left column. I need to get rid of some of these words like followers and things like that. So followers. Re replace all those. Okay. Place the word follow. Replace un. Replace the comma. And there you go. See how much cleaner that looks? Now I don't know how to get rid of that little point there, but for the most part, that's not going to bot. That shouldn't bother you. So now we're done with that. So you you want to go ahead and do that for both columns. Need to get rid of the uh, comma for this one. Okay, done. So this one is already in alphabetical order. As you can see, it starts with this, it goes down A's, then it goes to B's, C's. 
Now this one, since I just redid it, I have to redo the whole um, alphabet alphabetizing part. So we're going to go to data and don't go to sort sheet because that will sort everything. You, have, you need to keep your columns separate and sort column by column. So I'm on this column A and I'm going to sort it by the range. So sort range by column A, A through Z. This is the choice you're going to pick. So click that. And now as you can see some of these are winding up and it's in alphabetical order on both sides. So now you can go through and figure out okay this guy followed me back these people didn't, these people didn't or I'm not following these people back you know stuff like that. So you can go through the list and then over here in column E I recommend that you figure out okay who have I unfollowed and uh, make a note of that. So when you go back to follow more people as you keep doing this strategy you won't keep following and unfollowing the same people because you know you only have so many people that are um, leaders in your industry or competitors and when you go to follow their followers on Pinterest you don't want to keep going through the same people all the time with this strategy so what you do is you take their name down and when you go on Pinterest to uh, follow more people you'll know that okay if I want to follow you know let's say his name is Bob Williams uh, if, if his name is in this list of people that you've already unfollowed before then don't follow them again okay so these are going to be people that have been unfollowed alright and then you list them let's, for instance let me find someone that I'm following who isn't following me back okay so this guy Aaron Bakzinski I can put him in this list after I unfollow him because he is not following me back for instance okay then there's Aaron Hall then there's there's other people so you go through this list and do that that way you don't follow them ever again okay so that's basically it that's how you uh, are gonna probably have to manage your Pinterest followers I don't know of any better ways to do this if you can think of a way let me know in the comments I'd love to see that or if you do find an app or a software that actually works with this that doesn't have uh, bugs in it and things like that then uh, let us know I'm, I know uh, a lot of us are, are uh, looking for something like that like they have for Twitter and the other social media sites but until then this is how you can manage your followers it's about the best way to do it so you don't um, mess up and you keep everything organized okay so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope this helps you manage your Pinterest followers a little bit better and if you got value from it please like the video please subscribe I'll have more great videos coming in the future and uh, don't forget to visit us at selfmadesuccess.com uh, pick up some of our free courses our free tools uh, read some of our articles things like that you'll learn a lot about marketing entrepreneurship self-development things like that okay so I'll see you in the next video this is Justin Bryant from selfmadesuccess.com and I hope you have a great day